Welcome back, everybody. All right, so I'm just going to hide the CSS here because we don't need that anymore. And for the most part, we're just going to be talking a little bit about HTML and JavaScript here. Because remember, HTML sets up what it is visually and how the website looks, and JavaScript will add in the functionality, meaning that uh, JavaScript can add something like a calculator or any kind of uh, functionality you'd normally see on your desktop, while HTML just simply displays it. All right, so. You can see here if we run with JS, everything works good with pop, etc. Now what we need to do is we need to add in a button here, and this will show this will be able to call functions, which I'll describe here very shortly. Okay, so I'm just going to type in button here, and I'm going to type in the name. This is a button, just like this, and I'm just going to type in slash button, just like that. All right. Now, if we go ahead and click this button, you can see that it, uh, JS bin renders this in real time. And if we click this button, it does nothing. And the reason is, is that again, we haven't told this button to do anything. And since we have told the button, uh, we haven't told the button to do anything, it won't do anything. However, if we run with JS, uh, the JavaScript file says pop, and uh, that's what it will do. If I get rid of this, guess what? It doesn't do anything because we have essentially. Um, how, there's nothing in the JavaScript file, so there's nothing for the computer to run. Now, what we need to do is we need to add something onto this button, and what it will do is it will call a function here, and I'll explain what a function is in just a second. But if you just bear with me for a second and just type in on click, okay, we go equals two apostrophes. That's all we need to do here. And what we're going to do is in these two apostrophes, uh, we're going to call this my cool function, okay. And then we need to put two brackets at the end of that. So you can see that it says my cool function. And uh, you'll also notice that um, the cool and function are capitalized while the my is not. So usually the first word you don't uh, capitalize, uh, yet the other words you do capitalize. And the reason is, is that this doesn't look as good as this. Uh, it's just the way your brain kind of um, filters out the, the information. And it looks a little bit better like this. All right. So now we have my cool function. We need to hop over to the JavaScript and create a function. So let's just go ahead and we'll type in function. And we're going to go to my cool. We're just going to type in function just like that. And of course, we need the two brackets. And then we need two curly brackets. We'll push enter twice. And there we go. We got two curly brackets. Now, again, if we push this button, it does nothing because there's nothing in the function to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in alert. And I'm going to type in pop just like that okay just like that and if we type this in guess what it says pop we can change the pop to awesome or whatever you really want to your name and it, it changes as well so what this is is that the button tells you tells the function to do something it calls a specific function so if I were to uh, to take this in let's say a real world situation let's say you have a button and you have a series of let's say 10 boxes right and um, you push the button and a little robot g grabs a certain box, right? Box number one. Well, that's essentially what this is. Uh, the button goes ahead and it calls a box of code for you to, for the computer to run. That's pretty much all, all it is here. And we can have one function. We can have 10 functions. We can have 100 functions. We can have 100 buttons with 100 functions if we really wanted to, all with different names, all right? And so that's essentially what a function is. It's just a block of code that does something. And that's, that's pretty much all, all we need to know for this tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.